Hey teachers, I'm really excited to share with you a new tool called EduAid. EduAid is an all-in-one platform run by AI that helps you cut down on the hours you spend planning and doing time-consuming tasks like writing up emails, creating substitute plans, and more. There are a ton of different functions available and they can also be personalized to meet the needs of diverse learners. It also has a feedback bot to help my English and language teachers out there provide great feedback for your students' writings. So let's dive in! To access this platform, you can go to edgeaid.ai. You're going to create an account or sign in. The first thing you'll see when you log in is the teaching assistant, but you can click on the three bars at the left to see the other features like the content generator, the feedback bot, and more. We're going to go ahead and X out that, and I'm going to show you how to use the teaching assistant. First, you're going to select the grade level that's most relevant to you. And what I love about this platform is that I can really tailor it to your classroom. Under teaching assistant, there's going to be three main categories, professional duties, productivity, and wellness. First, we're going to cover the different features and professional duties. You can do so many things like create a lesson plan or a unit plan, draft an announcement or email, create a behavior intervention plan, or even set up your syllabus. First, we're going to just try out a lesson plan. You're going to click the lesson plan and then enter any topic or keywords regarding the type of lesson that you're creating. So say for instance, you want to create a lesson about water cycle for your third grade class. You're going to press the green button and then look up. In the text box to your right, it's going to generate that lesson plan about the water cycle. The lesson plans are quite thorough with objectives, teaching strategies, activities, real world applications, questions, and so much more. Once your lesson plan has been generated, you can also edit the text to your liking. If you scroll up, there's going to be different tools and features. You can change different heading types. You can bold certain words, underline, put in italics, structure it just the way you like it. You can also add or edit this lesson plan that was generated. Simply click somewhere around the text and then you can just type it. Once you're satisfied, you're going to go ahead and scroll up and in the untitled document box, you're going to name your lesson plan or whatever document you created. Once you're done, you're going to press the save button. Then you're going to head to the button with the three bars on the left. You're going to press save content and you'll see your document right there. You can also click the preview button to see the lesson plan that was generated and that you edited. You can copy and paste this to a Word doc or a Google doc and use it however you wish. You can also organize your documents by class or subject. Simply press classes. You can name a class, make sure you write a description, and then you'll be able to organize those documents to the specific classes. They kind of work like digital folders so that it's easier to organize all your documents. Now I'm going to click on that button with the three bars again and I'm going to head back to the assistant. One thing to note when you're going back and forth between the safe content and teaching assistant is that first of all, the lesson plan with the water cycle or your previous document is still going to be there. So you have to clear it before you create another thing. Also, I found that the grade level resorts back to the upper class students grade 11 to 12. So make sure you change it to your specific grade level. There's so many more features in the teaching assistant that I can't get to today. But one thing I wanted to point out is under the wellness category, there's a section for icebreakers. I know that school is starting to pick up. You might be coming up with different activity ideas. And this icebreaker tool is a great way to have a creative activity ready for your students. This is just an example of an icebreaker activity. In my keywords, I just wrote first day of school, get to know you using paper clips, just because I had a lot of them lying around. But you can use any keywords you could do it for a theme, maybe the 100th day of school, and it'll generate an icebreaker activity tailored to your keywords. I'm just going to title it, save it, and when you go back to the save content, you'll be able to see it. As I mentioned earlier, there's just a ton of features under Teaching Assistant. One more thing is if you need to draft an email for an upcoming field trip, you can literally just put in the logistics in the keywords and it will create an entire email ready to be sent out to parents. Try to experiment with different features and let us know your experience in the comments below. Now we're going to go to the content generator. As mentioned earlier, you want to make sure you clear your workspace before you generate a new document. So here is where you can create actual materials, educational materials you can use in your classroom. As earlier, you can change the grade levels. The first category is assignments. You can create lab and materials lists, reading comprehension questions, essay outlines, project-based learning. And similar to how we approached it earlier, you're going to just put in keywords, topics, in the box below, press add to workspace, and it's going to generate that document for you to the right. 
The second category is questions, so you can generate all types of questions to test your students on certain topics covered in class. The final category is the general category, so these are things that can keep your students engaged throughout the class. And this could be applied to all sorts of subjects, science, social studies, and you can also be more specific in the keywords if you so choose. Next, we're going to click that button with the three bars again and head to Edicide Chat. This section kind of works like ChatGPT. You can ask it any general questions that maybe not be answered or that may not have a specific function in EduAid. For example, generate ways to keep students accountable for completing their homework on time. And it'll give you a list of suggestions for your classroom. All right, now we're going to head on to one of the final features, the feedback bot. This is great when you need to evaluate or assess students' writings, and it can give you direct feedback, typographic, semantic, syntactical, and you can even put your own rubric in it. So I just copied and pasted a student essay here, and then I'm going to press one of the types of feedback, so typographic feedback, and then it's going to give you directly that feedback specific to what you're looking for. And keep in mind, it's not going to write exactly on the essay, but it'll give you notes of what to look for when you're assessing their writing. So here I'm also applying the different types of feedback to the student example essay. And keep in mind, it's gonna generate a new feedback report each time. So if you wanna keep the previous one, I recommend that you save it. Another feature is you can add your own custom rubric to it so that it can evaluate based on your guidelines. Now, in case you're wondering, the final feature is called Community. As of today, early July, it's currently not out yet, but hopefully it'll be out for you soon. Now, that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Currently, EduAid is free, so go ahead and experiment. Let us know what works and put it in the comments below so that we can help out teachers together. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our free weekly newsletter for more exclusive videos and helpful resources. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.